Yo what's going on guys, today I'll be giving you the top 3 tips for Mohammed Light and Mugi to get better at the game. I also asked both of them what their favorite deck was and they both answered minor wall breakers with the magic archer, so we're going to be playing that here today. Oh man, he has the lumberjack rage. <laughs> E-Golem is just a spilled lumberjack rage bottle that got extra angry. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go in for the bomb tower. I don't know how this will be, I just hope we don't get starting handed. Gonna kind of magic our drop to this side, try to snipe stuff down. By the way guys, I will be kind of splitting up the tips throughout the matches we play here today. Do have to tornado. I think we're all good though, Nightwitch should die, we can just kite this around. Anyways, the first tip from Mohammed Light is to watch your replays, especially losses. It's quite a popular tip, but I feel like it is quite important. Me personally, I don't watch my replays too often, but during important matches especially, I feel like it is quite important. Like if you lost an important match, say you tried to get to ultimate champion and you lost the final match to get there. It's really important to just see that replay, especially if you felt like you could have won if you played a bit better. It's really important to kind of go back there and see what sequence of interactions you could have done a bit differently and put yourself in a better position with so you can learn for next time. Anyways, this man is really good at defense. He has the defense of Muhammad Light. Or even better, this guy might be Muhammad Light's teacher. <laughs> okay, so I will go for the Evo Knight here. I do want to just kill the healer kind of quickly. Oh, the tower is on the healer too. <laughs> really well played by this guy. I will activate our king tower, gonna be quite helpful. Man, his knight which is spawning so many bats, we have to wall wallers just to tank. Might take a lot of damage here. Okay. Well, not too bad. I'll go in for the knight. Really, really, really exquisite defense by this guy. <laughs> Anyways, I'll hop into the second tip. The second tip from Mohammed Light is knowing when to be aggressive or when to be passive, and it really just comes with time and knowledge, he said, and kind of counting your opponent's elixir and cycle and all of that. And yeah, I really noticed that in Mohammed Light's gameplay, like in those big tournaments, he always knows exactly when to pressure. He's never scared to go really aggressive if he knows that he can catch his opponent in a bad cycle or just punish them easily. I'm gonna Evo Knight here, I think we're okay. This uh, purple blob guy clearly doesn't know Muhammad Light's tips. <laughs> he really doesn't know when to go in. He's just trying anything. I think this will take his tower. I don't know how he's going to stop it. I mean, I guess that kind of works, but Magic Archer will kill everything and Miner is chipping away. <laughs> oh, man. This guy didn't look so angry before, but now he's getting so angry. <laughs> going to Magic Archer. We can... Yeah, just probably take his tower right here. Or pretty much. Going to NATO here and... Very, very easy win. We got a match. I'll go in for the spiky trunk. Guys, the third and final tip from Mohammed Light is he said prediction plays are very important. They're a crucial part of this game, and it's always really important to be one step ahead of your opponent. And I have to say, that's quite a good tip by him. You know, it's not only going for stuff like prediction fireballs on barbarians, because that type of stuff is actually pretty risky to do. I mean, if you're really confident, you can always try it, but if you miss it, you just kind of lose the game there. But I think more so what he means is just predicting what your opponent will play next, not necessarily just always going for prediction spells and stuff like that. And also things like if you expect your opponent to go for like a Lava Hound in the back, you would just go for your Hog Rider right as you expect them to do it, and you kind of just stay a step ahead of your opponent. Not even sure what this guy here is running. I thought Lava Hound, but I guess it could be something else. I'll go in for the Monitor here, just want to take out his pump. You know what, it's actually probably Golem. Okay, well we're down a lot of Elixir right now, but I will try to get that King Tower. We can Spear Goblins in the middle. Gonna Magic Archer low. Might be in a bit of trouble here though. Gonna NATO. Oh no. Man, Skeleton Dragons do so much damage. Okay, we're not dead. Gonna Wall Wallers here just try to get our cycle alright. Have to let that Barb get one hit. We're down so much elixir right now. Not the best start. Gonna Evo Knight here, then just Monitor on the pump. I mean, at least I'm pretty sure he should have no big spells, so we could still maybe win if we play perfect defense. His Evo Knight's gonna be kind of hard to stop too, though. We have to get a Magic Archer off on this and try to get a lot of damage, hopefully. 
Oh no, we just got predicted. <laughs> I guess this man is following Mohammed Light's tips pretty well. Okay, well, I'm going for the wall breakers. We're down like, what, six elixir? Seven elixir. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to defend. I think it's game over. <laughs> okay, I'm going for the bomb tower. Uh, we need to snipe down this stuff with our magic or I'll go for it kind of low. I know he's probably going to try to tornado. We can knight way up high. Okay, let's go, let's go. That's not on the magic archer. Ooh, really good magic archer, let's go. <laughs> what a magic archer. We can native this all back, try to get our knight down. Man, what a beautiful defense. Thought we just lost there, but we're still in it, just not looking too good. Gonna magic archer up high. Ah, oh, he blocked it again. Kind of hard to break through at this point. Gonna spear goblins here. And minor wall breakers kind of have to just sacrifice them. Not the best bar barrel. Okay, we have to get the magic archer off. Come on, come on, magic archer. Ooh, he has very few elixir. Okay, we can just minor on this. He can't stop it, otherwise, the magic archer will take his tower. We're gonna wall ballers here. Come on. Wait, what does he have? What does he have? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Man, just a few good plays can turn a game around. Nice win. Alright, so tip number one from Mugi is just to play a lot of Clash Royale. Very simple tip, as were quite a few of Mohammed Light's tips, but oftentimes the simple tips can be the best ones and the most true ones. A lot of people just think they're going to randomly happen to be the best player in Clash Royale, but that's not really how it works. You at least have to put some effort in and play the game and just get used to the interactions of all the new meta decks and all of that type of stuff. It looks like this will be a mirror matchup here, so... My skills will be put to the test. I have been practicing this deck quite a bit recently. I'll pull this back with the wall breakers. We can also monitor the front. We'll see what he does. Oh, almost a connection. I'll go really aggressive here with the magic archer. That's kind of just how you play this deck. As toxic as it may be. Ooh, that's on tower. Oh, I do have to bomb tower. It's going to go for the nato, but this is also fine. Okay, well... Quite a good start here. In this matchup, it's pretty much just all about who gets the better magic archers. It can be skill sometimes, sometimes it can also just kind of be luck. Well, not necessarily luck, but just like starting hand and all of that stuff. I'm gonna knight the back here. I feel like he may try to magic archer, so we do have to kind of watch out. I know he wants to for sure. I'll go in for the wall breakers kind of high. Oh, perfect prediction. Should be no damage. Gonna log this to the side too. Okay, gonna spear goblins. We can evo knight. Ooh, this may connect. Gonna wall wall is of our own. Oh wow, perfect. Okay, so he will have to go for his knight here on our knight, and then we can just go in for the monitor on this side. He has nothing to stop our monitor. Ooh man, this evo knight might cause us some trouble though. Wait, what a tornado, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> Okay, we can just defend this pretty cheaply here. I will bomb tower. Can also kill the monitor. Ooh, I don't know if this Evo Knight will die. Even after the nerf, it's still so tanky. Do have to knight. He may try to magic archer, we'll see. Oh yeah, we have to nato this back. Okay, gonna monitor. He has no knight to catch it, so it should get some decent chip damage. We have to bomb tower. I have to say, I really don't like playing this mirror matchup too much. Not one of the most fun mirror matchups. Oh, he messed up the tornado! Okay, we have to go in. We need some damage back. <laughs> what a tornado, huh? You know, I had an extra pro tip. Don't miss your spells. <laughs> That's an extra pro tip. To be honest with you guys, I've been missing my spells a bit recently. But, you know, I'm working on it. <laughs> I mean, I really only miss my spells when I'm not paying attention. Sometimes I'm really tryharding in Clash Royale. Other times I'm kind of just chilling, you know? I'm gonna monitor here in the safe spot. Okay, Nato. Come on. Really good lineup. I don't know if his wall breaker will connect or not. Okay, one connection. And anyways, the second tip for Mugi, or from Mugi, is watch and learn. I guess he just means like watch YouTube videos, you know, learn from the best players. Like if you're playing Hoggy Q, maybe watch my videos. If you're, I don't know, say playing Lava Hound, maybe you could watch someone like Invader. If you guys have heard of him, he's a 
really good Volva Hound player. You know, just there's different players for different archetypes. Riley's good at log bait, all of that stuff. And oh man, these magic archers are causing trouble. And also guys, even spectating top players is really good. If you can somehow find a way to add some top players to your friends list, that can be really good to help you learn the game better. Okay, we need a... Well, just a few more monitor hits at this point. Maybe a magic archer lineup. We'll see. Okay, hopefully this doesn't connect here. Oh no! How did that connect? Okay, log, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I think we won, we won. Let's go, that was so close. Alright, we're up against a leaf from a tree. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'll reveal the third and final tip from Mugi sometime during this match. It's going to be the most important tip of all, so you definitely don't want to miss out on this knowledge. Might be Splash Art here, pretty much no other deck runs the Ice Mage. We can Magic Archer up high, might even get a bit of lucky chip damage. We'll see. Yeah, definitely Splash Shard. This knight may get one shot on the tower, or one hit on the tower. Oh, well, just barely not. I think this matchup could go either way, as far as I've heard. I'll just go in for the Monor Wall Breakers, he has no knight to catch the Monor, so I think this should be some good damage. He has the Bar Barrel. Okay, gonna knight here. Wait, why would you Graveyard? <laughs> we have Magic Archer. You can always Magic Archer behind the King Tower so they can't poison it and the Princess Tower. Also, Spear Goblins are really nice against Graveyard in this deck. Gonna Spear Goblins here. I don't think it can stop them, otherwise you can't defend our Knight Magic Archer for overcommitting so much. Gonna Monor. Really good damage. We can Wall Wall as two. Pretty bad poison for him. I'll take it for sure. Pretty good start. It may be a bit harder though, once we hit double elixir and triple elixir. We need really good magic archer lineups to win this match. You can't really get much minor chip damage or much wall breaker damage, mainly just the magic archer. Maybe our evo knight will be kind of nice too, but he's gonna also get to his evo knight pretty soon. I'm not sure if he has baby dragon or phoenix, I assume baby dragon. Baby dragon is so hard to stop with this deck sometimes, but we can still do something. Oh, he caught it. Oh! Oh, it's still on tower. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a lot of damage. Gonna defensive monitor. Oh no, we have like nothing for this graveyard. Hopefully the baby dragon doesn't splash. Oh no, I hate when that happens, man. It's just the baby dragon. The baby dragon is more of a win condition than the actual graveyard itself <laughs> in some matchups. Okay, when Spear Goblin is on tower, I'll magic archer here. We can nato this in kind of. Okay, well, that wasn't too good of a tornado. <laughs> but Magic Archer is still alive, so not too bad, I guess. Gonna knight up high Spear Goblin slow. The Spear Goblins will do a lot of work. Man, not the dreadful tornado. Look at our Magic Archer go, though. Gonna have minor wall breakers here. Oh no, we have to Evo Knight. Okay, just in time. Bit of minor chip damage, but not looking too good anymore. We have to get a magic archer. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's on the knight. We can tornado. Log this back a bit. Let's go. Okay, we need a monitor connection. Can we get it? Oh, he's giving up. Alright. Here's the final tip. I didn't even tell him to say that. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>